If I told you guys what happened to me last night, here's what you would say. You would say, this shit only happens to you, babe. Only you. This is just one of those things where I was like, maybe I'm not God's favorite. So the boy that I'm talking to, cute boy, I don't know what to call him. That's what I've been calling him as cute boy. His mother is in town. And today is his mother's birthday. So we're going to Boa Steakhouse tonight for her birthday because they make these like cute little birthday flyers and it's just like a perfect place to go for a birthday, she's never been, she's never even been to LA, so we wanted to show her Boa Steakhouse. I'm at the gym last night and Brandon, my ex, Fonte, <laughs> Fonte calls me and I didn't answer the phone. I texted him, I was like, hey, I'm at the gym, like what's up? He goes, oh, just wanted to invite you to my single release dinner tomorrow night at Boa. <laughs> I'm at Boa, single release party for the song that you wrote about me. Single release dinner at Boa Steakhouse tonight for the song that he wrote about me and I will be there with my new man. <laughs> Life couldn't get better. Um, so I responded to him and I said, I'm gonna be there tomorrow night already. Um, I will be at Boa tomorrow night. He goes, awkward, um, with cute boy. I said, yup, and his mother. <laughs> I will be there with cute boy and his mother. Brandon responds with, nothing like releasing a song about you and having you on a date at the same spot as my dinner. I love you, dude, ha ha ha. Listen, this wouldn't be as awkward of a situation if like my new man's mother wasn't going to be there because I don't want to make it like this, you know, like that just adds a whole new layer of like awkward. I don't want her to think I'm like a fucking whore, right? I ended up telling them. I was gonna not mention this to cute boy because I just don't prefer like talking about my ex to him. Like that just doesn't sound fun for me. So I try my best to steer clear away from that topic. But I was like, you know, maybe I should tell him. Um, that feels like something I should tell him. So I screenshotted me and Fonty's conversation and I sent it to him. I was like, uh, just wanted to let you know that we're gonna have a really fun time tomorrow night. And he called me and he was like, no fucking way. This, how? How did this happen? I'm like, I don't know. Cute boy is a very thoughtful person, okay? So at first he was like, we can't go there. We need to find somewhere else to go. Like, I don't want to like, ruin this poor guy's night like i don't want it to be like seated next to him and like have him be upset at his like single release center like that's not fair right i was like i totally get it whatever you want to do i was on speakerphone and we explained the whole situation to his mother and she was laughing she was like wait there's no way i'm kind of living for this drama i was like <laughs> i was like you know what girl i sort of live for this drama too like i love awkward situations like well i don't love awkward situations like that but i I sort of like pray for them, but then when they come, I'm, I get really awkward, but anyways. So I decided to text Paul, the owner of Boa, and Paul knows all the tame, okay? Paul has seen me in and out of there for the past three years with different people. He knows everybody. Paul knows what's going on. So I had to text Paul and be like, hey, hey Paul, you know both of these guys, right? Okay, well, we're both coming in tomorrow night. You know this. Um, could we possibly sit on opposite sides of the restaurant? And that's where I'm at right now. The dinner is tonight. Um, and I'm gonna take you guys along on the journey. I need to get ready because I think cute boy and his mother are gonna come here for like a cocktail before we go to dinner. So I have some things to get done. And then maybe I'll take you guys to dinner a little bit and give you like updates of what's going on. Cause I need y'all to ride through this with me. Cause I just truly can't believe it. I, I really, really, truly can't believe it. Like I can't, I can't make this shit up, man. Hold on, I'll be right back. This is one of those situations that explains why I made this merch two years ago that says, I can't believe this is my life because I really can't believe it. But anyways, good morning, you guys. Welcome to the vlog. Um, make sure to stream Sucks That They're Not Us by Fonty on Spotify. It is a really bomb song though and it's coming out tonight and he wrote it about me and I've never had somebody write a song about me before. So you should give it a listen because it's actually, it's a really amazing song. Um, he actually posted on his story the other day and it was, um, it was like a black screen and he like put text over it and it was like, time to get this shit off my chest, like self-centered coming out July 15th. And then the next story was a picture of him in my Jeep with a clown emoji over his face. I texted him, I was like, this is giving diss track vibes. Did you write a diss track about me? Like what's going on here? It's not a diss track. He confirmed that it was not a diss track about me. Maybe he was lying, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take what he said and believe it. That would be killer of him though. Imagine he just came out with like a crazy diss track about me on July 15th and good for him. I think he should. Okay, first I'm gonna clean because I can't have cute boy's mother like thinking I'm a scum whore. So I'm gonna like clean this place fucking spotless. 
And yeah, I'm going to listen to the new Anything Goes podcast while I'm cleaning. It's about outfit repeating. Oh, you know what I'm actually in the middle of listening to right now? I'm in the middle of listening to the Ariana Maddox Call Her Daddy episode, even though I never watched Vanderpump Rules. I know nothing about it. But like whenever I listen to like, um, like a podcast religiously, I'll listen to every single episode, even if it's like an interview, I don't know the person or it's like a topic I don't care about, I will still listen to it. And I'm very invested in Ariana Maddox right now, even though I've never seen the show. So I'm probably gonna actually finish that. Oh, also you guys, in my last vlog, I ended it with me like frantically gassing my car to Long Beach to meet Cute Boy's mom for the first time. And Cute Boy sort of like, made me like scared to meet her not scared but he was like he was like yeah she's like a very christian woman and she's probably going to hate all of your tattoos and not love that you do only fans so i was like i was scared to meet her i was like can i cuss like i didn't know what i was getting myself into i fucking love her i love that woman we had such a good time i literally pulled up there in my pajamas with no makeup on and like a toothbrush and a dream and i get there and we instantly hit it off and she was like let's make margaritas i was like okay i guess we're making margaritas then she goes yeah i want to go out like tonight i, I was like who i was like you want to go out okay and we went out and we got really drunk we went to like a strip club okay i was in my pajamas I was in my pajamas and I went to a strip club with cute boy's mother and it was literally the best time of my life and his friends showed up to like hang out with us and like he went and talked to his friends for a while at the bar and me and her just talked like meet like one on one for like an hour and a half and it was fucking unbelievable. I love that woman. So that was nice. Moms love me. Moms love me. That hasn't always been the case for me. Like when I was a teenager, like all of my boyfriend's mothers did not like me. They really hated me. Like a lot of my boyfriend's mothers like did not want me to date their son. But my past like two or three relationships, the moms love me. They fucking love me. So that's my superpower. Okay, I just finished cleaning. My apartment building has these like meeting rooms downstairs where people like work. So I like to come down here to work every day because I have an office like in my apartment, but Marty is a very loud bird and he screams all day long and I can't concentrate. When he's screaming, I try to put up with it sometimes, but I, I just, this is like my peace and quiet of the day when I come down here. I, I like to, I bring him down sometimes too. I call it bring your kid to work day. <laughs> and I bring him down here because he doesn't scream when we're in like public places, so it's fine. But most of the time, this is my mommy time. I also just ordered a bunch of booze from the liquor store to restock my bar cart because Cute Boy and his mother are coming over for drinks and I have like I said in my last vlog, half a bottle of Kahlua and a three-year-old bottle of Bailey's at my bar cart. So I restocked everything and we'll make my bar cart all pretty together. I have to finish editing a YouTube video and I was gonna post it today, but it's Memorial Day. So I don't know if anyone's like on their couch like watching YouTube videos today, so I might wait until tomorrow. But yeah, I should have to finish editing it and I have to make the thumbnail and I have to make the trailer and like the title and all that stuff. I might wait until tomorrow to post it, I don't know. I don't wanna make a coffee, there's a coffee machine over there. Should we go make a coffee? We have brand new coffee machines in the little coffee room and I'm so excited. I don't think I've, I haven't used these yet. So obviously I talk about like the boy that I'm talking to in all my YouTube videos. I talk about it quite frequently because why not? That's, I tell y'all everything, you're my girls. But whenever I'm making like my trailers that I post on like my Instagram story and my TikTok for my YouTube videos, I feel like I only include clips where I'm talking about him. So it makes it seem like the entire video is about him. And he's probably gonna think I'm crazy at some point. I just realized that because I was making the trailer for my new video and every single clip is about him. I'm like, oh my god, he's gonna think my world revolves. <laughs> it's all good. I, I just finished. I'm gonna go upstairs. I just postmated some lunch. I postmated a salad because I literally have everything to make a salad. I went grocery shopping yesterday, but I don't have time to cook right now because I have things to do. I just got my Instacart delivery for all my booze so i'm gonna set up my bar cart and then i'll give you guys a bar cart tour of everything i got okay i just restocked the bar cart i always get the same exact things whenever i restock 
my bar cart because I just love them so much. I do a bottle of Grey Goose and I got some Patron. I don't even drink tequila anymore, but like everyone does. So I like to have tequila here for when people come over that like tequila. Um, I always get Crystal Head vodka because the bottle is just so cool. <laughs> like I love it so much. I normally get like the regular clear one, but they were out of stock. So this guy got me. This one's kind of cool. It's like chrome or something. I don't know what that's called. Um, I get the botanist gin and then I just have like a bottle of red and then on the bottom I moved all of my I moved all of my weed paraphernalia because I don't know how this woman feels about weed and I don't really care to find out so I replaced it with some lemon seltzers and some tonics in the back and then I just have a bottle of Bailey's and some random tequila and triple second clue I've already had that forever but she looks gorgeous and then I also got she likes margaritas um his mother so I got this like strawberry margarita mixer. I wanted to get something a bit healthier when I had like a strawberry margarita in mind last night, but when I was Instacarting, like they really only had this. So it's whatever, it probably tastes really fucking good. And I got some lime juice for the marks as well. Oh, that was so nice. Okay, I'm gonna do my makeup. Um, it's time, let's talk. I feel like a lot of people online right now are like, girl, you moved on so fast. I thought you weren't ready for a relationship. Like, you suck. You're dumb. Let me, hear me out. For the past, like, three years, I didn't want anything to do with a relationship. I All I cared about was working. I always saw working as, like, my number one priority. And so, therefore, I could never, like, have a boyfriend because whenever I would hang out with people, I would feel like I was being unproductive, you know? So that's why I never had a boyfriend for a long time. Cause I was just like, I can't waste my time like investing all this time into somebody when I should be working. You know, like that was my mindset for the longest time. I feel like I just recently discovered that there's more to life than just work. Um, so I've been working on my relationships with people, seeing friends more often, being open to like a relationship, like things like that, um, which is really fun because that's super new for me. I think a lot of it has to do with me taking a step back from TikTok because that did take up like a lot of my time. In between that and YouTube videos, I had zero time for anything else. That's literally all I did. So once I started to take a step back from TikTok, that's when I got into my relationship with Brandon because I was like, oh, let's try it out. I haven't done this in a while. Like, this could be fun. I just want to see how it goes. And Brandon is such an amazing person and I'm so happy that he was my first BF back into the game, but we just weren't meant for each other and that's okay Like he's just not my person that doesn't mean that like I didn't value him or I didn't value our relationship because I did But I just kind of quickly realized that like he wasn't meant for me and that's okay The boy that I'm talking to right now the one that I talk about in every single YouTube video I've known him for a really long time. We used to be like a little situation ship sort of Thing because I wanted nothing to do with an actual relationship. So he hit me up on Instagram like a little like maybe like two years ago He hit me up on Instagram Randomly one day. He was like, hey, you want to go roller skating? I was like, yeah <laughs> And we went roller skating and we were like best friends for a really long time But we were also like kind of like a thing as well But I didn't want to date him because I didn't have time and I've like I've always loved him and I always used to like, I always used to be like, one day I'm going to marry this man. And I just like knew it. I was like, I'm gonna marry him one day. But at the same time, I was also very kind of awful to him because he treated me so well and he liked me a lot and stuff. And I would just kind of like brush him off. Like, nope, I am not gonna be in a relationship with you because I just can't do that right now. But things are a lot different right now with me. Like I want, a re like a relationship really bad not just with anyone but with him I think he does too like I don't know I don't want to like ew I'm like ew cringe um, I don't know what he wants <laughs> but that's what I want we've just always had such a special relationship that I always kind of knew that we'd find our way back to each other and I'm so happy that we did he's like one of the only people in this world that I feel comfortable around and that I have just such a special connection with that I have haven't found with anyone else like ever so I'm just seeing this out and seeing how it goes. Um, I just don't appreciate like all the fucking comments all the time. Like, 
oh, she better be talking about fucking Brandon, like, this fucking whore, like, blah, blah, blah. Me and Brandon weren't meant to be together, and that's okay. Sometimes relationships don't work out. Like, like I said before, like, literally nothing happened. I just realized that we weren't meant to be. And I really, really like this guy, and I'm very happy, and I'm just seeing where it goes. It's not that deep, you guys. It's not that deep. Most of you guys are very supportive of me. That's not, I don't mean to say you guys, but like the fucking bitches. You know who you are, the fucking bitches. It's just so nice like feeling this way again. Like I haven't felt this way in a while, like where I get like butterflies and I get like a little nervous and my like heart is feeling things. Like it's just a foreign feeling to me right now. I haven't felt it, felt it in a long time. So it's been fun. I'm very happy. But of course I still love and respect Brandon so much. I'm so excited for you guys to hear his new music and he's going on tour this summer and I'm so excited to like see him perform and I will always be his number one fan because he's fucking awesome. Okay, I'm gonna finish my makeup and I have to go grab my food from the lobby and I will see you in a few minutes. Oh, I thought that, I'm like so used to Hollywood. I'm, every time I hear a firework, I'm like gunshot. I just finished my makeup and I got my salad. I normally get salads from Sweet Green now because I love Sweet Green, but I also love Takaya. I used to get Takaya all the time, so I got Takaya today. It's romaine, black beans, red onion, tomato, jalapenos, tortilla strips, vegan chipotle jack cheese, avocado, vegan chicken, and like a cilantro lime. Oh my God, I almost just spilled the entire salad out of the bowl. And cilantro lime dressing. My mom is so cute. I, like two weeks ago, I was like, oh mom, like listen to this episode of Anything Goes. Um, I forget which one it was, but I was like, I think you'd really like it. You should probably listen to it. And she did. And ever since she listened to that episode, she's listened to like literally eight of them. And she'll text me every time she like listens to a new one. She's like, oh, I just listened to this one. She loves Emma. She loves Emma and I'm so happy because I fucking love Emma. And I'm so excited that I like put my mom on. What's my YouTube video of the day? Oh, Caitlyn Ray. For sure. Caitlyn Ray posted her like Coachella part two because she went to both Coachella weekends. So I'm gonna listen or I'm gonna watch that right now. Okay, I'm doing my hair. I'm gonna do like a slick back pony because you could literally wring my hair out with the amount of grease that's in there. So no, it's not that bad, but it's, it's, it's to the point where it needs to be a ponytail, you know? I'm not great at doing a slick back ponytail, but I'm gonna show you guys what I do anyways because it works for me. It's, it's fine. I run this Sol de Janeiro like hair oil through like my roots and shit. Not like it needs it. And I probably really don't need this, but it smells really good, so. Then I just start brushing my hair back with, um, what's the brush I use? I use the hair shop brush, like a detangler. Is that what these are called? The detangular brushes? I don't know. I start gathering my pony. I've never done a hair tutorial before because I don't know what I'm talking about, but. And then I use the Tea Tree Firm Hold Gel and I run that through my hair. I recently got this brush because I wanted to start doing slick back ponies. Um, it's the pattern brush. I got it from Sephora and I just start slicking it back with this and I'm done. If you're looking for like a really good slick back ponytail tutorial, this isn't the place for it, but I just wanted to show you guys what I do. Like my parts not even like even and there's like bumps over here, but I don't care. This has been my scent since middle school. Since sixth grade, I've been wearing the Daisy Marc Jacobs perfume, but for the past like two years, I've been like trying to switch it up a little bit and I've been wearing different perfumes most of the time. But whenever I wear this, I get so many compliments. Like the other day I was wearing this and cute boy was like, you smell so good. And I was like, okay, I'm never wearing anything else then. Noted. Okay, I just put on different hoops. I put on like some bigger, like thicker hoops. These are both from Every Jewels and my Cartier bracelets and my Cartier rings. And these two I got from the trading post. And I'm gonna lotion my legs cause they're so ashy with the Air One body lotion. I posted a picture the other day on my Instagram story. It was like a mirror picture. And I got so many replies being like, oh my God, you have the same legs as me. I've been so insecure about my legs my whole life. And now I'm not because yours look exactly the same. And I'm like, what, what's the thing? <laughs> I think it's because my legs are like splotchy and they, it really comes through in pictures. Like, like they'll be like red and splotchy, but then like, it's weird. I don't know. I think that's what it is. I'll show you guys my outfit in like two seconds. His mom is so cute. Uh, when I was there the other night, she like showed me all of her outfits that she packed 
for this little vacation and she like laid them all out on the bed and she was like, which one should I wear on my birthday? I was thinking this or that. And she just texted me. She was like, so do I wear the polka dots and the skirt or the black dress? Like which one am I wearing? I was like, hmm. I was like, try them both on and like send me pictures. I've literally worn this exact outfit on a date with this same guy like years ago and I don't give a fuck. I don't really think men remember things like that. So like whatever, but I'm wearing this little Balenciaga crew neck and this skirt is from Motel Rocks. It's like silky and then there's like lace on the bottom. It's cute. I like how it just like peeks out from underneath the crew neck and then I'm wearing my Doc Martin loafers and I'm probably gonna wear my fake Prada bag with it. Or I could wear, I could be crazy. Look at this bag, you guys. I've been waiting for like the right moment to wear this bag and bring her out into the world. Is today the day? Look how fucking cute this little bag is. Where is it from? I ripped off the tag. Oh, I'll never pr pronounce that correctly. It's spelled H-E-U-R-U-E-H. -E -E That's the brand name, but maybe I could like pull up like this to the dinner with my two ex-boyfriends. I'm going to fucking hell. Okay, I'm making a tester cocktail to see if my vision was visioning this morning to see if this works out. Cause I don't want to look like a fucking fool if it sucks, you know what I mean? I have to test it before I serve it. I'm just like a natural bartender at heart. I'm doing Patron. I can't believe I'm drinking tequila. I, I It's okay if it's in like a very sweet margarita, but I don't prefer it, but I'm, I'm doing it anyways. Cause the woman loves tequila. Okay, so I'm trying it. Patron. Just making a quirky. I'm just making a quirky. Sorry. A little bit of triple sack. I feel like I don't need that much because this fucking strawberry shit is loaded. Oh, what's that dangling off the triple sack? That's gross. Um, a little bit of triple sack. A cat. Lime juice. And this strawberry shit. Oh, wow. That's a lot of ingredients. <laughs> it's vegan. It smells good, but it smells like a banging hangover in the morning. Oh, she's syrupy. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> Woo! Happy Memorial Day, bitches. A few years ago, I didn't know the difference between Memorial Day and Veterans Day. So I told my stepdad who used to be in the Marines Happy Memorial Day. He said, Tara, I'm alive still. And then he taught me the difference. See you, bitches. Oh. Um, that may be way too much strawberry because this is coming out like straight syrup. I'm gonna garnish it with strawberries later. I have like a carton of strawberries in my fridge, so. Um. Ugh. Um, <laughs> I don't think my vision was visioning. You know what? Maybe she'll find it charming that I'm a dumbass. Maybe she'll think that's charming. So, wow, that's actually really bad. I don't, I don't want to drink that. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, your mommy's kind of stupid. Mm -hmm. Mommy's not creative. Mommy's not smart. Let me give it one more try. I just drooled all over my chin because it was actually that bad. Maybe I just don't like tequila. I think my butt get big. My girl is having the time of her life. I love her to death. I'm so in love. Is someone in there? Oh my God. I just love her so much and she's having such a good time and everyone at BOA is treating her like a fucking queen as they should and I'm so in love. She's having an amazing birthday if anybody wanted to know and I'm so happy and she's so happy and she just announced to the table that she has never been this drunk in her life or in a very long time. I was like, Duh, like. <laughs> I'm on cloud nine and it's crazy because 